Sagittarians, what's goody in the hoodie? Sorry, I was like staring at the camera like a deer, a deer in a headlights because I was confused. I wasn't sure if it had started recording or not. So how y'all doing? Oh, what we got? Taurus moons. We got some Taurian moons in the house. How y'all doing today? Welcome to your general love reading for the second house. Oh, your money. A lot of y'all really thinking about y'all money right now, baby. Eighth house and your spirituality. This is your general love reading for March 18th of 2023. The ninth house, your spirituality. A lot of you dealing with a Taurus. You got Taurus sun here. Sagittarius risings. A lot of you are Sagittarius risings. My Sagittarius risings. It says, um, that's what I am. It says anatomy, hips, thighs, and liver. Spontaneous, progressive, delightful, philosophical, fortunate, daring, energetic, and knowledgeable. Your Sagittarius ascendant personality is highly independent and spirited. Travel and exploration are essential to your well-being. You love freedom and adventure. You are carefree and make friends easily. Your outward demeanor is energetic, outgoing, and ambitious. Discussions that are intellectual, philosophical, or theoretical are always exciting. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop your plans of action. If things don't go as expected, you easily shift to a new strategy. Your purpose is hopeful optimism. Your confidence in taking chances and focusing on positive results inspires others to be open to opportunities. Beautiful. On the bottom here, you got the planet Mars. Some of y'all have been a little bit more sexually turned on than usual. But we got Gemini ascendants in here. A lot of y'all could be Gemini risings. We got Libra sun. Some of y'all dealing with a Libra. We got Aries moons in here. We got Libra moon in here. A lot of you could be one of those. Virgo sun. Some of you dealing with a Virgo. The fifth house is here. This is your house of bliss, children, creativity. Okay. So you got a lot, few houses here in astrology that are popping up for you. So a lot of you, your money here is a big deal. The second house has to do with your assets, your acquired assets, your acquired possessions. Okay. Ideals, finances, security, profit, success. So a lot of you, you've been really focusing on your money, even though this is a love read. All right. Um, you, you still, it's showing me a lot about your money. Like maybe some of y'all really trying to step your money up. You know what I mean? Maybe this is a good time. Maybe there's a lot of activity happening in your second house right now. Uh, second house, uh, represents the belongings you value, the ways you generate money. It signifies how you manage daily finances and overall wealth. The zodiac sign that is placed here indicates the diligent activities you do in the physical world to attract material things, including clothes, art, work, food, and any other needs and desires. Okay. And you also have the 11th house here, which has to do with dreams, friendships, and pleasures. So a lot of you, some of you, not all of you, maybe you've been making more friends or you've been networking. It also has to do with the internet. Okay. It has to do with your gains. So a lot about your finances, your money, your gains. Some of you, you've been looking into ways to make money on the internet. Okay. That's cool. What do the cosmic insights have for you, though? Let's see. What do the cosmic insights have for all my Sagittarians? Whoa, that was too many. You saw how all those flew out. Should I take them? Let me just take them because that was too strong. Water sign. Some of y'all dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got love spell. You've been bewitched. Uh-oh. You got no, it's not the time. Something is not the right time. Then you got gambling. Problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances. Then you got intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. Make sure you trust in your, your intuition and you're listening to it. All right, Saggies. Then you got health. Health issues could arise. And then you got vacation. You will be traveling soon. I feel like y'all got this before. So water sign. A lot of y'all are dealing with the water sign. You could have heavy water in your chart. That is Cancer Pisces Scorpio, for those of you who are not familiar. Okay, love spell came out. Somebody feel like you put the whammy on them. Now, that doesn't have to actually mean magic. It can just mean somebody just feels like, wow, they can't keep their mind off of you. 
like this person, they, I guess uh, this, I just heard this is somebody that don't really fall in love like that, or it takes a lot for this person to really fall in love. But there's somebody here that feel like you put a love spell on them. Now there's something is not the right time. That's not going to be for all of you Saggies, but it's something that's not working out for you at this moment. And that doesn't mean that it's not going to come to you. It just means that right now is not the time for it. Okay. Again, that's not going to resonate with all of you, but the few of you it does, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Gambling here. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who like to gamble. Some of y'all don't even know that this person has a gambling problem or they like to gamble, or this person could have like something with their money where they spending money too much. Okay. Now for others of you, this could be you. We did talk about your second house, which what did I say has to do with your moolah. So some of you need to work on your spending habits. Either you spending money on gambling, like some of y'all be on that bingo online on your phone. Like, come on, let me throw in another 20. You know what I mean? Let me get that bingo. I love me some bingo now. It ain't just for old folk. Bingo is fun. B-I-N-G-O. Bingo. Some of y'all be online. I just heard some of my fellas, you be on that video game stuff, bitten and stuff, fantasy football, fantasy basketball, this fantasy stuff. No money. Coming back from it. Hello? Some of y'all need to chill out with that. And others of you, you got addictions. And when people hear addiction, they automatically think, oh, drugs, alcohol. No. No. <laughs> you can have an addiction to Amazon. You do not need a new crock pot, Susie. You got one you don't even use. Hello. Talking to some of you Sagittarians. You know who I'm talking to. You do not need another pair of, new pair of shoes. Oh, but I just had to have those, girl. I've been there too. <laughs> Woo! Can't walk away from them now. You never know if you're going to see them again. Uh-uh. And some of y'all just bad with money. You just spend too much. Your second house is being highlighted, all right? And others of you, maybe it has something to do with the person you're dealing with. But a lot of y'all have to start trusting your intuition more in love because it says the red flags you ignore now will come back to ah, bite you later. You hear me? And with my health card here, Saggies, if you out here, make sure you make sure you staying on top of your health. Whether this is your sexual health, or this is just your mental health, or this is just your physical health, stay on top of it, okay? Because this is usually my STD card sometimes. So if you out here living wild, go get checked. You taking chances, go get checked. Oh, but she looked clean. Mm -mm. What you mean she looked clean? I bet a lot of people look clean and they not. Sit down. And last but not least, we got vacation. A lot of y'all getting ready to go away. Take a trip. Maybe somebody going to ask you on a trip. Hey. It says you will be traveling together. Intimacy is here. Wait, I wanted to look at that person. The love spell card. Yeah, let's look at that. Before we get to that title. Oh, hold on. My car's all mixed up. Come on now. Get organized now, girl. Come on now, girl. Come on now, girl. Make sure y'all hit that like button. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit that like button. Now show your girl some love. That's how you keep my content alive on YouTube. Spread the love. Hit the like button, please. Leave me a comment. Share and subscribe if you feel comfortable. Okay? I always say leave a comment if you feel comfortable because not everybody, you know, wants to get on, you know, a public platform and confession tried to pop out. But make sure y'all do that. I'm on Instagram, Miss Hawaii Tarot on there. What's up with this love spell? Who is this person? I feel like y'all got this before. Pregnancy. Someone is expecting. Okay, so this ain't going to be for everybody, clearly. Um, I don't even think that this is somebody actually pregnant. I mean, maybe for a small portion of you, it could be. Congratulations. Or the person you're dealing with. But I feel like whoever this person is that got it bad for you, they want to knock you up or they want you to knock them up. Somebody want to have your baby. Show me more about this person. This person want to have your baby. If you are having sex with this person and you having sex unprotected, be careful. Manifest. Because this person is really, they feel like they manifested you. 
They feel like you just what you want, just what they wanted. And some of y'all, this person is an air sign, an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. I saw this card earlier too, the spy. They be spying on you big time, whoever this is. Someone got their eye on you. So this, this person that's in love with you, they spy on you. They want to have a baby with you. They trying to manifest you. And it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's how you would know who this person is. And if they into the metaphysical, hey, maybe they are sitting there not doing no black magic or nothing like that. But maybe they are sitting there with your picture like, oh, you doing that, Bella? Give me the power, I beg of you. I want the Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. In a hood, just looking over your picture. She says she's the same, but she's not the same. She says she's the same, but she's not the same. She says she's the same. What the hell wrong with this person? They need to sit down. Looking like a damn bringer off a of buffet. Sit down. What you talking about? You said she's the same, but he's not the same. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, there's an email in the description box, Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Holler at me there. It is not an email for you to ask me out on a date. It is a business email. Okay, I'm not on here for a date. This is not eHarmony. This is YouTube. These are tarot readings, okay? Do not use my business email as no e-match or e, what do you call it? Match.com. Mm. Very kind words you say, thank you. But this is not why I do this. All right, let's see. What is the overall energy around you in love? Over ooh, strength. Leo energy. Some of y'all name is Dawn, because that's my Donnie right there. Donnie, strength. Why the strength? You trying to hold it together. You staying mentally strong. Somebody around you, they kind of getting on your nerve a little bit. I got I can't lie. The judgment. Hmm. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh uh. Didn't I say they kind of getting on your nerve? King of Cups in reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Some of y'all talking to more than one person. Got a Riley here. Oh, definitely. There's more than one energy around you. Somebody went to, is in the military. Somebody's in the military or the army or something. King of Swords. See, you got mad people around you right now, Sag. What in the blood clot? No wonder you're getting a strength card. But I feel like you're annoyed. Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're annoyed. See, look, the hermit. Virgo energy on the bottom of the deck. You got the nine of cups in reverse. You're not feeling this. There's definitely more than one person here. And all of them look. Okay, I'm seeing somebody that's mad at you. Bitter, mad, don't want to talk to you. Why they here, I don't know. Could be a Virgo. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And then you got a water sign here king of cups in reverse cancer pisces scorpio person playing emotional games emotionally manipulative and then there's somebody here a taurus virgo capricorn person i like their energy they move in slow though your overall energy is the nine of cups in reverse that's feeling like you're not getting what you wanted or not feeling like your wishes are being fulfilled. Why is the strength card here? What's going on with you, Sagittarius? Somebody getting on your nerve. The death card. Ooh, Scorpio energy. The fool in reverse. The ten of swords. Wow. Okay. Page of swords. It's showing me, it's showing me an ending. And if it's not an ending, then it's just you transforming through love with the death card, the fool in reverse, and the ten of swords. Some of y'all not ready to start anything seriously new yet. 
because you're still healing or you still need to heal from something from the past. And I feel like whatever this thing is that you ended, it took strength for you to end it with this person. Could be a Scorpio for some of you, Aries. Let me see the judgment. What'd you realize here? The Ace of Swords. You got some type of clarity. You got some type of clarity about a connection with somebody. You were able to see that it ain't going nowhere or it wasn't stable or it wouldn't be stable moving forward. You got some type of clarity about it. Let me see. Why are you the Queen of Wands in reverse? Some of y'all coming off kind of or kind of a-holy. Or at least that's the way you come off. Or, or sometimes the Queen of Wands in reverse, whether you're male or female, can mean like nobody's really turning you on right now. Like you turned off. Ten of Wands in reverse. Some of y'all got a lot of stuff going on in your life. Really busy. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I see you wanting something new and stable, but I, I don't think you feel like you're getting anywhere with that. Getting, you know, or you feel like it's moving slow. Who is this King of Cups in reverse next to you? This person here that's the Queen of Cups. The, the Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody you love. The Lovers. Oh, somebody you love here. Don't look at me like that. Eight of Pentacles. You put a lot of work in this. The lovers could be a Gemini. This is somebody you feel a strong soulmate connection with. Show me more about the King of Cups in reverse. But this person is emotionally disconnected. The Empress in reverse. Some of y'all, it's a third party thing going on. Didn't I say that? Three of cups in reverse. Because there's two queens here. So some of y'all, that's not everybody's story. But some of y'all dealing with somebody here and they got somebody else. Let me see the Knight of Pentacles. I can't, Sag. <laughs> the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Tower. What the hell? What happened here? Tower. Something big happened with somebody. Show me more about that Knight of Pentacles. Who is this? Some of y'all could have met somebody like unexpectedly. Queen of Pentacles. I see somebody here that you that you're gonna meet or you met unexpectedly with the tower. They don't have a bad energy, but I do see them as a little bit moody, not not very emotional. So I'm seeing something about New York. Let me see the Knight of Wands in reverse. Some of you are, are more temperamental than, you, than usual, Sagittarius. Page of Swords. Somebody's been spying on you. Who is this person? You don't want to talk to them, though. Who is this person? The Devil in reverse. The Seven of Cups. The Three of Pentacles with the Star. Some, some of y'all, your name is Kendra. So this person, they are, they've been spying on you. They would like to rebuild with you. But whoever this is, it could be a Capricorn. I feel like it's somebody you detached from because you felt like it was toxic or they were toxic. And I feel like you're keeping your options open in regards to whoever this is. Because I don't see you wanting to talk to them. Who is this person that's mad at you? King of Swords in reverse that's not talking to you. The star, Aquarian energy, the seven of pentacles. The lovers. Is it this person? Are we back to this person again? With the four swords? So the person that you're not talking to wants to still have this with you even though they're mad at you you got a lot of people coming in seven of pentacles so this is somebody that feel like they invested in you in this situation and they still feel a strong connection with you strong soulmate connection with you but four of wands is in reverse six of wands in reverse you see it didn't work out with this person for some reason. A chariot. Why is the hermit here? A lot of y'all been spending time at home. 
some of you, uh, this isn't for all of you, but some of you Sagittarians, especially my females, my feminine energies, you haven't been feeling that attractive lately. You haven't been feeling that beautiful lately for some reason, but you are. Could be my fellas too. You haven't been feeling that attractive lately. Like maybe you don't feel like, oh, people don't really like me like that. Or I just heard some of you, like my older ones, like you're like, oh, I don't look the same. Like my boobies kind of sag a little bit now. Like, you know, my butt ain't as high as it used to be when I was 16 and you fine. Trust me, you look good. A lot of y'all are practicing self-love right now. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. So many different energies that came through for you. All right. I want to look individually though. Let's see if you guys want to join me in the extended reading. You already know the link is below. It'll take you to Vimeo where we will continue this reading over there. If you want to join me, great. If not, thanks for being here. And hopefully I'll catch you on the next one, right? Hopefully I'll catch you on the next one, Sag. All right. Let's see. One more here. All right. What feelings does Sagittarius have towards this person here that whichever person we pick up on, let's see, whoever comes through, what feelings does Sagittarius have towards this person here? The two of cups, six of pentacles in reverse. This is the person you feel a soulmate connection with. Don't look at me like that. Six of swords. Somebody's name is Faith. Seven of swords in reverse. Somebody was deceptive or being sneaky towards you and it was revealed to you. You still feel the connection with them, but you don't feel like this person gave equally to this connection. And I see you moving forward. Six of swords, the devil in reverse. Detaching. Taking your power back. The fool in the world. Wow. Wow. The first card of the major arcana and the last card of the major arcana. So you're literally closing out a cycle and about to start a new one. That's beautiful. This person, what feelings do they have towards you? There's a Sagittarius, you've let go. Like you went to AA or you went to rehab or something like that. I'm proud of you. Good job. What you did took strength. Took strength. Yeah. You're fighting an addiction. I don't judge nobody. The tower, whoever this is, Scorpio energy, because we all human. We could all be there. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody better than the other. I know what you did took strength. Ten of wands. Everybody don't have that strength. Whoever this is, is going through it. Do you hear me, Sagittarius? They are stuck there. Whoever this is, is not talking to you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio energy. The hangman, didn't I say it? Pisces energy. Y'all mutual energy. Oh, there they go again. The king of swords in reverse. There's that person. With the eight of wands. And I'm gonna stop. That's all I do. Let me see this two of cups. Whoever this is has really been analyzing things between you and them. mean person like to play mind games but guess what i feel like they met they match because you know how to play them games too whoever this is whatever game playing they try to throw at you you can throw it at them you yeah yeah you still feel this connection strongly 
You also can feel that this person ha is holding on to you, holding on to this connection. You know this person loves you. I don't care how they act. They have a weird way of showing it. Show me the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all, this person owe you money. Seven of Swords in reverse. There's that sneaky energy again. Or something could have happened with money. I feel like you're over it. Like at one point you were upset and hurt by it. If it's not money, then like I said, it could be something they did that was sneaky. You know, let me see this Six of Swords. This is you moving forward, transitioning. Some of you moved to a different state, different city, the star, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, some of y'all got a new place. Five of Cups in reverse. You don't seem all boohoo. I'm so sad over this person. I feel like at one point, maybe, but not now. No, you're fine. I think some of you kind of have a, you know, Whoever it is, I feel like you really wanted it to work out. Okay, let me see that devil in reverse, which you had to detach. Ten of cups in reverse. Some of y'all, it was just a toxic situation that was never going to give you your happily ever after, and you had to face that. Could have been drama, other people involved, fighting, conflict, okay? And I feel like you're more at peace now. I feel like this is somebody that it was a lot of stress. Some of you was a lot of gossip. You felt like you were the center of gossip, Okay. A lot. Let me see that fool in the world. See how that tried to pop? Oh yeah, you made your mind up that you want new. You're closing out this cycle and you want new. Some of y'all got somebody else here. Already got somebody new here. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person. That you see potential with. Some of you are being pessimistic about love, though, already, especially if you got somebody else around you already, you already thinking negative. There's that strength part again. But I do see you staying strong. There is somebody else around you that's interested in you. It's, it feel like a newer person. I feel like they caught feelings quick. Could be a Leo, heavy Leo energy right here. Feel like they caught feelings quick. Mm -hmm. Very different from this other person's energy. Oh, wait, we got to leave these here. So I want to go into the extended now. So in the extended, I'm going to clarify your person's current energy, which is the tower, the 10 of wands, the page of pentacles in reverse and the hangman. They're going through it, man. But whoever this is, they definitely are thinking about <laughs> their own actions in this. Because when I see the hangman, it's a card about growth. It's a card about maturity. When you're hanging there upside down and you're evaluating you're really, you're really seeing things from a different view or you're really seeing things you never really saw before. You know what I mean? So we'll look at that. We'll pull some hidden truth messages on this person. I want to see what's in their subconscious in regards to the way they feel about you. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and look at their future actions. I want to see what you can expect from this person in the future. All right. What actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. All right, Sagittarius. And I'll also take a look at new love because a lot of you do have somebody new around you or somebody new coming in. So I want to see what's going on with that and what you can expect from the new person, all right, or current person. So that's it. The extended link is in the description box below. If you guys want to join me, they're great. Like I said, I'm on Instagram, Miss Hawaii Tarot. Twitter is Stalk Miss Hawaii. If you want a personal reading, Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. And shout out to all my members. I love you guys. Thanks for being a member. You have a new members read coming soon. And if you guys would like to become a member, head over to my channel, click the join button, and we will get you a part of the family. Welcome to all the new members. And thank you to all the members that have been rocking with me. I will see you guys in the extended. If not, see you next time. Have a fun, blessed weekend. I love you, Saggies. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.